Hey everybody, we're going to jump back in to um, doing some math together. This is Grade 8 Mathematics for Open Up Resources, Unit 3, Lesson 1, Understanding Proportional Relationships. These are the practice problems for the uh, this particular lesson. Priya jogs at a constant speed. The relationship between her distance and time is shown on the graph. Diego bikes at a constant speed twice as fast as Priya. Sketch a graph showing the relationship between Diego's distance and time. Okay, so we know that if this is Priya's graph here, right here, that she is jogging along, and these are 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 all the way up to 1. So it's time in hours, and an hour is 60 minutes, and these are in tenths. So if we take 60 and divide it by 10, that gives us 6 minutes per every tenth. So this is 6 minutes, 12, 18, and so on, all the way up to 60. So if we look here at this point, Priya's um, pace intersects with a line here on the graph, so it makes it easy for us. At 0.2, uh, or 2 tenths of an hour, which is also 12 minutes, another way to think about it, Priya has run 1 mile, because it crosses right over there. So if we know that Diego, is, his speed is twice as fast as Priya, we can see that his he's in the same time, 12 minutes, he's going to go twice as far, which is going to be 2 miles. So then that's going to give us our graph for Diego. That's here. And then that one's going to be right up there. So now the last thing we need to do for this is label them. So this is Diego. And this is P-R-I-Y-A, Priya. Okay. Number two. Number two says a you pick blueberry farm. Sorry, offers six pounds of blueberries for sixteen dollars and fifty cents. Sketch the graph of the relationship between cost and pounds of blueberries. Okay, so here on the graph we have blueberries and pounds and cost in dollars. Well, we know that at sixteen, um, it costs sixteen dollars and fifty cents for six pounds of blueberries. So we have ten and then five here. Okay, so we're right about here at six pounds of blueberries. And we take that up to $16.50. Well, this is 12 and 24. So uh, right in the middle of that is going to be about here. And we're just going to be below that. I think right about there would be about $16.50. Okay, so now I take my graph. Uh, excuse me, my ruler, and I know that because it's a proportional relationship, it has to start at the origin and continue on in a straight line. That's going to be my graph of how much it would cost. Okay, the relationship between uh, cost and pounds of blueberries. Number three says a line contains points negative four comma one and four comma six. Decide whether or not each of these points is also on the line. Okay. So first thing we can do is we can find the equation for that line by using our slope formula. So um, what we're going to say here is our slope is going to be 6 minus 1 divided by 4 minus a negative 4. Okay, so minus a negative 4 becomes plus a positive. So that's going to equal 5 over 8. So our slope is 5 eighths. Okay? Now um, we need to say that our equation is going to be m equals y2 minus y1 divided by, excuse me, x2 minus x1. So we plug these in, excuse me, into here, and then we figure out whether or not these points are on that line. So our equation is going to be 5 eighths equals y2 minus y1, which is, I'll choose 6, divided by x2 minus the corresponding x.4. So this is going to be our original equation. We're going to plug everything into there. So first off, we're going to say um, for, for A is 5 eighths equal to 3.5 minus 6 divided by 0 minus 4. So what's this? This is going to equal 3.5 minus 6. That's going to give us a negative 2.5 divided by a negative 4. Okay, so if we double 4, it'll get us to 8, and if we double 2.5, it'll get us to 5, and both of the negatives cancel out. So that works out. So A is on that line. We'll come down here for B, and we'll say 5 eighths equals, so this was A, and then we'll do B here. 
5 eighths equals 11 minus 6 divided by 12 minus 4. Okay, so that's going to equal 11 minus 6 is going to give us 5. 12 minus 4 is 8. So that works out also. 12 comma 11 is on that line. All right, now uh, C, 5 eighths equals 50 minus 6 divided by 80 minus 4. So that 50 minus 6 is going to give us 44. 80 minus 4 is going to give us 86. So we reduce these as much as we can, 44 and 86. They've got a common factor of 2, so we can say that's 22 divided by 43. Uh, and I don't think we can reduce those anymore. So uh, they do not uh, equal. This doesn't equal 5 eighths, so that's not on the same line. So C does not work. Okay, now D is negative 1, comma, 2.875. So then we're going to say for D, those 5 eighths equal 2.875 minus 6 divided by negative 1 minus 4. All right, so we look at our subtraction again, and we say does 5 eighths equal 2.875 minus 6? Well, that's a tricky one, so we'll go with 6.000 minus 2.875, and the difference will wind up being negative, so we borrow from the 5. 9, 10, 9, 10. That's going to give us 5. 9 minus 7 is going to give us 2. 9 minus 8 gives us 1. 5 minus 2 gives us 3. So this is 3.125, and that's a negative, divided by a negative 5. Okay. So um, it actually turns out that this becomes a positive, and that's a positive. And the ratio from 8 to 5 is the same as from 5 to 3.125. So that actually is on the line. So that works out also. The last one says point, the points 2 comma negative 4 and x comma y, a and b all lie on the line. Find the equation relating x and y. All right, so for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to think about what makes the most sense for how this works out. 